Hi there! In this video I'm going to continue to build my Kingfisher hide and you can see how long it took me to get some shots of the Kingfisher. If you haven't checked out part one, go and do that now. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy part two. So I've made it back to the hide. You can see the path here that I've cut through the undergrowth just by walking. Um, I'm in two minds about whether this is really a good idea um, because that thing there is quite heavy um, and the ground underneath is <laughs> extremely soft. Now it shouldn't actually dig in because there's quite a large surface area so it should be alright but the problem will be as I try and get perches to pull it it's just going to dig me into the mud even further. Come up with a different plan. I've decided that if I try and drag it through I'm just going to sink really far down into the mud. It's not going to be safe and it's not going to be very easy either. So what I'm going to do, I've just nipped home, it's a good job I live very close, and I've brought some rope back. I'm going to tie the rope onto it and try and pull it from this side from solid ground and hopefully that should be far easier and far safer. Bob on. Plan A didn't work. I've tried pulling it, but because it's facing the other way, it won't spin round on its own accord. I think it's digging in. So I'm gonna to have to walk back round, spin it round over there, and then try and pull it again. Take two. I've now spun it round. Hopefully it should move a little bit easier. Let's have a see. coming. Yes, I'm not sure it is coming. Right, there's one for the bloopers. I think the wire that I tied it onto gave way. So, plan C. There's your problem. The wire actually just snapped, obviously through the the sheer force of it, that wasn't very good. Right, so I'm gonna to have to come up with another plan. <sighs> well, I'm making some progress. I've decided just to physically pull it. I've tied the rope on and I'm using that to haul myself through. I've nearly got it through, but the problem is now just here, there's a fence. So trying to get it over that is gonna be a problem. And I've just noticed that when the when the rope gave way and snapped, I fell on the tripod and I bent the leg, so that's barely standing up. So I might have to do this without filming it because I'm going to move the camera out of the way. Somehow I've managed to get it into position and turned over, but it was a real struggle. Uh, I didn't film it because I didn't know how long it was going to take and how hard it was going to be, and it was pretty hard. Um, but I think I've also now angered the wasps and the bees of the habitat that I've just um, flattened. Um, so I've been stung twice and every time I go near the place now they swarm around me again so it's going to prove tricky. I may leave it for today and come and finish the hide at another time. I possibly may go into the, the pond and put the perch up today while I'm wet because um, hopefully the, the bees and the wasps won't bother so much about that. But I'm getting, I'm starting to overheat quite severely. I don't think I'm going to get very far.
That's as far as the dog goes. He said he wasn't very deep. He lied. So I've stuck another perch further along the lake just in case uh, the kingfisher was to land there. So I've covered a lot of bases. Hopefully now it'll, the kingfisher will get used to these perches and show up another day. Well, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty. I've been stung three times by wasps. I've been stung no end of times by nettles. But I do have a hide set up, some perches ready. All I need now another day is to come back and hopefully I'll see the kingfisher. <sighs> so it's day two. Um, I'm a little bit achy after yesterday's um, hide building session, um, but everything's in place now. So I'll see what I can get today. So I'll spend a couple of hours in the hide, see if I see anything for the kingfisher. I'm in the hide. Um, it's literally just patience now. Don't know whether anything will happen today. Um, if it does, excellent. If it doesn't, I'll come back another day. Very promising. The kingfisher has just landed on one of my perches, but unfortunately I was focused on the wrong one. And when I focused on the second one, he'd gone. But it's good signs that I should get something at some point. just got my first proper shot of the kingfisher unfortunately it didn't land in a very pleasing spot there was a few leaves in front of it but I have actually got a photograph of it now well that's the end of day two um, I've got some nearly shots um, but not quite made it I got the one that I missed where it landed perfectly in the right spot but I just couldn't focus quick enough and then it did land um, fairly close to the hide but was behind some leaves so I think I focused more on the leaves than I focused on the kingfisher so it's not a great shot um, that's the way it goes sometimes I'm going to try again tomorrow so it's day three I'm about to go back down to the hide again to see if I can see the kingfisher Yesterday I spent over three and a half hours waiting for it and it didn't appear, but hopefully something might happen today. I'm back in the hide and I've done a few things that are different today. First of all, I've put some black polythene up um, underneath the camera just to hide myself and the camera a bit more just makes the, the bottom half of myself a little bit more private because I felt a little bit exposed today because this camo net has got quite large holes in it. Then I've also put a bit of a, um, a reed screen um, at the back. I don't know whether that will make any difference at all but it saves me being as visible from behind. Um, that was dead cheap. It was only four quid. Um, so that was quite useful. And also I'm wearing black. Um, I don't know whether it made a difference yesterday, but I got a red t-shirt on and again I did feel quite exposed in that so Everything that you can do to help I'm gonna try and do so hopefully today will be the day A little bit of a progress report um, I've been here for over an hour now and not a single sighting at all I've seen the moorhen a few times and that's about it really, but my friends just bought me a brew so Life's good, we'll sit here for a bit longer. I'm really pleased. Um, the, I've seen him, he's landed, on a, he's landed on a branch and I've rattled off about 60 images um, while he sat there. And so that's 
that's made my day. I'm gonna stay here longer. It's only just before half past eight at the moment, so I've got plenty of time to wait longer to see if I can get any better shots. Um, the light is improving, that's why I say I can get a better shot. The shots I've got, I'm really pleased with. They're, they're really good shots. Um, but he didn't land on the perch that I've put in, um, which he did yesterday, um, so there are still possibly better shots to get, but we'll, we'll see if he comes back. But if not, I, I'm made up now. jaw dropped open with disbelief. I thought I was being too optimistic when I wanted a better shot, but about five minutes after the Kingfisher landed um, on a branch further back, it landed on one of the perches that I put in right on the very tip and sat there, let me, t let me get some really good shots and some video as well. So this day just keeps getting better and better. If you've stayed with both parts of this video, thank you very much. I'm sure you'll agree it was worth all of the patience and effort to get the shots of the Kingfisher there at the end. Now I can also go back again and try and get some even better shots. On my list now is to get some shots of the Kingfisher on the perch just in front of the hide or get some shots of it diving. Nobody's ever satisfied, are they? On a very serious note, it's worth bearing in mind that the Kingfisher is a Schedule 1 protected bird and it's illegal to disturb them during nesting season. The Kingfisher that I photographed was just visiting a feeding site and was not disturbed. So if you're taking pictures of birds that are protected, it's worth just checking out the law before you do so. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell notifications to be informed of all of my future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live at 4 o'clock on Sunday. All that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.